Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. Today we are showcasing the third and final premium character that we have purchased and that is currently available and that is going to be Hunter Marcy. Now, unlike the last two showcases, I won't be playing Hunter Marcy on the level that she unlocks because I need to unlock that by beating another mission and I can't play that mission because I need to beat the mission we're playing in today's episode. So that's still a couple episodes out, but for right now, we'll be checking out Hunter Marcy, see if she's worth it or not. She seems like a very interesting character. Of course, it's Marceline in a different type of gear, just how Dungeon Finn was Finn in a different type of gear and Tuxedo Jake, the same thing. So yeah, let's take a look at her info. Years ago, Marceline's skills as a hunter spelled disaster for the vampires. Now she's ready to turn those talents into eradicating the balloon menace. So that's very interesting. Her pros are fast attack speed and flying, and her cons are that she's expensive. So we'll see how expensive that really is. Um, 950, she's actually cheaper than Tuxedo Jake. Not too bad. 1.3, 1.43 attack speed, one damage, damage type is sharp, range is 40 and pierces two. And her ability is suck the souls from all the balloons on the screen. That sounds pretty impacting. Um, I might want to level her up at least once. We do have two cosmic essences and not really too much of the red tomatoes, which stinks. I thought we would unlock those for purchasing her, but not really. But um, yeah, we have some other moves here. We got the garlic bomb, drops a time bomb with a three second fuse that poisons balloons. Blast radius is 15, very cool. Um, he, she has blood rush. Marceline flies at 1.5 times normal speed. So she's going to be flying like a helicopter type tower in BDD normal games, that's pretty cool. We have soul sucking. Uh, suck the soul from the strongest balloon in range. The balloon is weakened and Marceline becomes stronger against that balloon type. Uh, hunter training, stake attacks are faster. And then advanced hunter training, uh, stake attacks are even faster. And then stake, stakes ricochet to nearby balloons hit, wow. Um, for the garlic bomb, there's stronger garlic. Poison does increase damage to balloons. And then finally, the uh, Enhanced bombs, blast radius increased to 18, and bombs have one second fuses. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is the circular fight or flight path. Um, unlocks the circular flight path. Okay, that might be useful. I don't know if we get the control where she goes, but this is the straight flight path. Unlocks the straight flight path. Nothing too interesting there. Um, so I guess she just sort of stays in one place with this one. Hard to tell. Uh, the mass soul sucking is. Suck souls from multiple balloons in range at once, and then finally that ability we already read, where it's just all of the balloons on the screen. Very expensive at 5,000, so definitely gets more expensive with her upgrades, I can see that now. She actually does throw darts, so we have a huge array, array of options. We're probably gonna go with her dedicated one that she came with, which is the silver tipped stakes, uh, the weapon of a choice for the season hunter. Uh, special properties are regen and zombie balloons. Hit by attacks, lose those properties, which is really crazy and really effective for some of the harder levels. So I'm super excited for that one. She's gonna be a must for those zombie balloon levels. She has plus two damage, plus one per four, per four stars, and then plus six pierce, plus one per two stars. So very, very good weapon. No wonder it's legendary. And then we should have three trinkets available for the first one being, um, oh, some new stuff for sure. But first off, let's check out this. This is uh, Strike from the Shadows to deal extra damage to camo balloons. Sure. We'll do that, but more importantly, we got these other options, which I think are basically particularly for Marceline, like the strawberry. Vampires love the delicious color of the strawberry. It lets them see much further, so it gives her plus eight range. Definitely equip it. And then moving over to this, what do we got? There was another one that was like a bow tie or something. Uh, it is the red bow tie. Vampires love this bow tie's tasty shade of red as it allows them to attack faster with more pierce, so plus five speed, plus two pierce. Very cool. What was that last option? because I, I wasn't looking. Um, this is the Ring of Poison. I think we'll actually swap it for that. I think that'll be better. There we go, when it comes to allies, I don't think she has anything, unfortunately, no, but maybe that'll change. I mean, as you can see, there's a couple of different, like Starchy, we can unlock Starchy soon, but I'm not really worried about that at the moment. We will go ahead and we will, um, what's it called? We will go into Underwater City. We will try our best and hopefully everything will work out just fine. We already did the level to the left, so we're doing the level to the right now, which is something's fishy. The fish parliament have vanished. Follow the balloon child to find them. Sure. So that sounds weird. Oh, and there's no intro to it. So this unlocks like a different form of Cassie if we beat it on hard mode. I'm not trying to do that, I don't think. Or maybe I do. That's what I need to check. Cause here's the thing. I can't unlock the level that unlocks the level that we need to play the Hunter Marcy level. 
I won't be doing that in today's episode regardless, but I wanna at least set it up. So I need to find out, do I need to unlock that character or do I just need to beat that level? Complete adventure, something's fishy. Gotcha, so I don't need to unlock that character at all. So we'll just complete it on easy difficulty and see if that gets it done for us. So let's get started. See what we can end up doing. Something's fishy. Three out of five difficulty isn't too bad. As long as we have Hunter Marcy, which we do. And I might, if I have any kind of upgrades for Tuxedo Jake, I do have a new, oh yeah, we have uh, the Rainicorn. Is that her name? I think so. What is the Quipper for now? Uh, we just unlocked that last episode. Very cool. So let's get started with normal difficulty. Instrument weapons don't just power up their holder, but all the characters nearby too. How cool. Um. Oh wow, I can see why this might be a bit more difficult. It does combine into two. So I think that we'll start with, uh, oh, so many options. Uh, so many options. I think though, the smartest thing will of course be Dungeon Finn. Since I don't really have a good taste on how difficult this would be, having a really powerful character like Dungeon Finn is gonna be a good idea. So we'll start with that and then we'll make our way up to uh, the Hunter Marcy and then just keep working from there. Because she can fly, which will make things much easier with that. But yeah, it'll be our first flying character of the game. Hopefully it'll be fun and cool. And yeah, I mean, it's normal difficulty. It's never really all that bad. All I have to do is just upgrade Dungeon Fin and I have everything I practically need, except for some camo defense. But even if I take damage from just the camos through round one through 30, it's still not enough to take out our 200 health. So I think we will be fine. So we just gotta save up 1100, which really shouldn't be too bad. Or was it? No, that was for Tuxedo Jake. For uh, Hunter Marcy, we're looking for 950, which is even better, even easier. I mean, her upgrades are a bit more expensive, but we need to experiment a little bit anyway, so it'll take us some time. I really like her darts, though. I might end up lending those to other monkeys that might be able to take them at some point if we're not using Hunter Marcy. I feel like that would be really good as well, because, man oh man. I mean, it did seem very specific towards vampires, so I don't know if it'll even be equipable for anybody else besides uh, the Marceline variant, so we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, this is turning out pretty well already, so I'm not really too worried. I don't think I'll go for Tuxedo Jake this round, just because I really just wanna see uh, as much of Hunter Marcy as I possibly can. And then maybe next round we'll have like the all three premium characters out together. But yeah, if you have Hunter Marcy, let me know your thoughts on her. Or if you don't have Hunter Marcy, feel free to let me know why you don't have her yet, if you don't like her, or if you just you know, haven't had the chance to. Would love to hear. So this is her treasure chest. I think I'll sneak that in here. Cause she just sort of flies around it. Right now she flies around it in sort of like a figure eight pattern. And I can change it, the like orientation of the figure eight. So I sort of wish I had moved that to somewhere a little bit better. I'd lose out on like $300 though if I were to do that now. So I'm just gonna leave how it is. Um, we can upgrade our pathways in a little bit. And you can tell she throws out darts and they sort of just make their way to the balloons as they are just magically in a way. And that's pretty nice, I like it. I don't know if the longer figure eight would be better. It might be, really hard to tell. Uh, but we wanna definitely get her some stuff like Blood Rush will 1.5 times speed, so she'll be getting around a little bit easier. We'll try that for right now. That seems to be working. There we go. The balloons do take a second to actually get close enough to her that she, that she can attack them. But once she does, she's hitting them. Weird character so far. Like the way this hits is odd. So like with helicopters in normal balloons games, you are able to eventually get an upgrade that controls specifically where you want them to go, or even better, you can just have them follow balloons. It doesn't seem like that's an option for this though, which definitely makes it weirder. Let's do the long one. It doesn't seem to be, like she doesn't seem like she's really making too much of a difference. She's popped 200 balloons out, which is half of dungeon fins. Okay, so let's do garlic bomb. I really wanna see what that's like. So she just starts throwing those down. Seems like she only throws those below her, so that'll only be really helpful um, for the ones that end up getting by, I guess. Oh, but one still got bias there. I don't like that. Um, let's do stronger garlic. More powers. I don't know, so far I'm a little eh. I don't know, I feel like maybe once we get better upgrades on her, that would be better. Maybe the soul sucking is really what I need to get here, so maybe we should just save up 1200. But we're already taking damage in ways that we really don't need to be taking damage. I mean, I understand that Dungeon Finn's not in the best spot in the world, but he really shouldn't be doing bad. We'll try out soul sucking and see what that ends up happening, or what, what ends up happening with that one. But man, see how those pink balloons get away? I don't like that. So let's go ahead and also, I mean, like another thing is I can't make her focus on strong, which is sort of silly, 
I don't understand why I can't. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this. I think we just need to imp improve uh, Dungeon Fin a little bit. Just like this, I guess. It's something. But still, even then, even then, this is not turning out perfect. I don't need it to turn out perfect every time, but I just need it to turn a little bit better. I think I will have Dungeon Fin focus on Strong then, to make it a little bit easier in that way. We'll definitely need to get 600 for him to get the Battle Moon before we do anything else with uh, Hunter Marcy. So maybe I could get like BMO to get extra cash. I just don't see this working out very well, being able to fully get her upgrades. She's weird, like she doesn't really, do I mean she's popped a lot of balloons, but not enough, you know? We really shouldn't be having this kind of struggle this early in normal mode. So we'll get that upgrade. Maybe next time I'll get Finn and then Tuxedo Jake and then move into Hunter Marcy once we get some good cash coming in with that. Like maybe that would be a little bit better. So we'll try that out soon enough. But we're halfway to getting the uh, balloon sucking. So I wanna try that so that we can see if it does really make a big difference or not. Because we can make her fly in different patterns, but not really the patterns I want anyways, at least not for the specific position we're in. I'll have to keep that in mind for next round. Really pay attention to where the balloons are coming in and how we can move her. I didn't really know before, of course, so I was bound to make some mistakes. We're about at 1200. We're definitely doing better keeping the balloons away now that uh, Dungeon Fin's been upgraded a little bit. But now, as you can see, yeah, there she goes. She definitely turned a couple of those yellow ones into red balloons, which is pretty good. I like that. So we have this, which is um, multiple balloons in range at once, which might be nice. We could also just do advanced. Uh, stake attacks are even faster. I think we just need a lot of stakes out at the moment. And then if we could just get somebody who can see camo or find a way to get a thousand, uh, we probably can't though. No way we can have that much money in a short amount of time. So I think what we'll end up doing is just getting Max out and seeing if he can't destroy some camos or something. That might be good. Or maybe even like PB and see if she can't unveil some of the camos. That might be good. So let's get her down Don't this worry, way. Everyone. I have a plan. May she I has a plan. Okay, so we just wanna get super intelligence. That should be affordable in five rounds. These are gonna go by us. It's not the end of the world. Oh, oh, did that attack it? Yeah, why, wait, why could she suddenly see them? That was weird. Just suddenly all, she could just see them and attack them. I don't know what she did. Weird. Um, But in the meantime, $700, we're almost there. And then things should get a lot easier with that. Because then, you know, like whatever camos come on by, she should be able to just tackle. Or at least all of our characters can tackle them. Because I think they stay unveiled forever. So that's good. We just gotta make sure that she has like as fast fire rate as we can possibly give her so that she can hit those a lot. I really hope somebody can take out leads. Okay, she can, very good. Makes it a lot easier. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, Mar Hunter Marceline seems very weird. It makes me think, I wonder what normal Marceline is like. I guess we'll find out next episode because next episode we'll go to the level that unlocks Hunter or just normal Marceline. So that'll be cool. But in the meantime, this is a bit confusing. But anyways, we're still on the, we're on the 30th round now and things are very survivable as you can see. We're making it work. I'm not really too worried about it. All right, awesome. So level complete, very, very good. So that's the first level of how many? I think three or four. Might be a bit difficult to get through everything today. But we got 25 coins, we got a gem, we got one candy, that'll be good for PB. We got a wish orb and 100 experience. Can we double those? We cannot, okay. Well, we'll just keep moving forward. You can tap and hold upgrades to see what they do. I know, don't you worry. So uh, yeah, let's open up this wish orb, see what we get inside. Ooh, we get a green one. Oh, that's new too, so we'll probably get that. That's the pressure hose. It's a weapon, no special properties, but plus 10% speed. It's good for only PB, so we might as well get it, try it out, see if it's worth our while. Might not be, but hey, we'll have it available. Let's go home. Yeah, there's four levels in total. Wow, this is gonna be a long one then. Let's move on to the next one, which is Fish Parliament. Weird, weird idea, but we'll give it a shot, see what ends up happening. Okay, so, like we, do, we we said before, let us start, hmm. Okay, I, I see, I mean, maybe I could just do normal fin, make it a little bit more affordable, but I know that dungeon fin will work. There's like a rock in the way that makes it hard to really figure this out. Maybe fin would be better, because he could probably fit in there. Come on. If he could, that'd be perfect. 
Can they stand, they can stand, oh, they can't stand off the tables in this map. Gotcha. So here wouldn't be so bad then, but I think this table would be a bit smarter. So we'll try this for now. And then we're just gonna keep that going for, um, until we get 1100 coins, then we'll work with that. I mean, I guess we won't get the all three DLC characters this time, maybe next round. Democracy of the Ocean is what that says in the background. I don't know what episode this is from, I guess an episode where, where they go underwater and find like an Atlantis something something or other. Who knows? I love the I, I love the lore and the ideas in Adventure Time. I wish I had more time to watch the show. I know it's finished now, but there's still a lot of the show I haven't watched, so some of it's sort of, you know, different to me. But yeah, there is a new level in the game that's been added recently. I eventually want to check it out, but I don't think now's a good time, really. But I'm hoping that eventually they add more characters. I hope this isn't sort of like, a, you know, like a one and done thing where they set up the game and then it's sort of what it is forever. I don't think it will be, but you never really know, right? So we'll have to wait and see. So I'm gonna save up that 1100 for Tuxedo Jake. We will get the uh, money making set up and then we'll get Hunter Marcy after that. Sort of see how things end up going. Wow, does he move fast. Like he's just really good as he is without any upgrades, it's pretty crazy. Definitely gonna get 1100 out of this. So I gotta be ready and make sure to put him on the same table. We could actually put him right in the center. He covers everything on the table. How perfect is that? There's a nice little party on the table. I mean, if we wanted to use the biggest table, we gotta use that one on the far left. It would just take longer, which I don't appreciate very much. Okay, so $400 should be an easy save. Yeah, we'll be able to get it by the end of round seven. So let's get to it. Just need about 60 more dollars and now 25. There we go, so Busker 400, and that's the only upgrade we're gonna do for Tuxedo Finn for now, and a Tuxedo Jake, sorry. <laughs> I always get their names mixed up permanently. So now 950 is our goal. We should be able to do that relatively easily. And then once we do that, we'll have all of the cheaper upgrades. They'll be a little bit better when it comes to being towers because of uh, Tuxedo Finn's you know, abilities and stuff. A Tuxedo Jake, oh my gosh. So we just gotta get there, should be fine. But yeah, we've been able to get through normal difficulty now without much of a struggle. I do wanna try harder difficulties, but for right now I'm just trying to get completed what I need to to you know, make progress in the game. We can always come back later and get more stuff unlocked. So I'm excited for that, it'll just take some time. I think I'm gonna put her about here, and then of course make her do the downward. That should be a bit better, I think. It's really hard to tell, but yeah, with that, we got money coming in. Marceline is doing her thing. Um, I think we'll make her fly faster, because why not? And then we'll also make her, ooh, we'll just have her save up for the soul sucking and work from there. Okay. So there's 1,068 for that. 890 for the mass version. So we'll do that in just a moment as well. Cause that shouldn't be too bad to afford. And then maybe we'll work on some of her smaller upgrades. She, she definitely has like a place in time for her character. It just sometimes can be weird to figure out. But we're getting there, that's for sure. Got some money there, $890. Shouldn't it be too bad, right? Oh, I don't know, definitely this round. Get these two bushels of money, and there we go. So the only problem now is that there's nothing really in her range, it would have to make its way around the table. But her range should be pretty big because of Tuxedo, Jake. <laughs> And it definitely seems to be that way. So let's do Hunter Training. We'll do Garlic Bomb. Even though the Garlic Bomb, I'm not really a big fan of. It isn't really the best. I mean, I, I definitely see its use, but it doesn't, it's sort of like more of a chance thing. It might be easier later level when there are just tons of balloons everywhere. So you're just constantly needing stuff to attack from all sides. But for right now, when you're having very particular things we're focused on, it really isn't that big. I mean, she's doing a great job as you can see. She's keeping all of the balloons back. Just like all of them. Jake doesn't even get to touch them. He already, she already has more balloons pop. So while it doesn't seem like she's making a lot of progress, she actually is. She's really making a big difference. So that's very weird, especially with the better advanced training and stuff. Needs mace stake, stake equipped for this one. I thought she had the mace stake. Maybe she has something different or maybe I never applied that. I'll have to check that between rounds if I remember. So we'll do the stronger garlic, but then that's really all we can do at our current level, unfortunately. Maybe at some point we'll be able to change that. But with that being said, I mean, we could sell this Jake and just get the whole trio, or that Finn. 
You know what I meant. There we go. Very cool. So uh, with that, we can get Shield Bash. We can get Battle Moon. I don't think we'll need too much more than that. So we'll just save up for the rest of this. I probably should have put some of that money into this, but I was being a dingus as per usual. Uh, but yeah, we'll just try to get them to be able to attack everything. Cause right now they can't attack this camo. Oh no, she can attack camo. I don't know what she did, or maybe the garlic bomb hits it and makes it non camo. Cause I don't, I don't remember an upgrade that would make her attack camo. Weird, but hey, I'll take it. Maybe just like, I really don't know. Weird. So 1200 shouldn't be too bad to afford. Once we get there, we will, uh, Get yet another thing going on. There it is. Oh no, that's what, 11.95. And, oh, we got the leads coming in, which are a little bit harder for her to beat up, but that's where uh, Finn comes in, so we're not really too worried about it. So 1,500. You wouldn't think that'd be impossible, but we'll find out together. So yeah, the DLC trio is together, and they're working hard, and they're very effective on normal mode. Who would've thought? I would be really upset if they weren't, you know, if they were just bad characters. They had to pay $25 for all three of them, or $10 each, you know, it's ridiculous. But uh, we don't have to worry about it. They're actually good. Definitely, I think they're worthwhile. It seems like, oh, wow, well, that was it. I, I totally didn't even realize, level complete. So one, somehow, 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 some way, they're able to handle camos. Something with Marceline, maybe it's something with her abilities. I don't really know. But as you can see, we get a fin cake for that. Very nice, and we get a wish orb, and we get 100 experience. Very nice, we're actually very close to the next level up. We might have just gotten it, if not next level. So we got a wish orb as well. You can use gold coins from chest to buy more powers. We know, we know. There we go, that is level 16, nice. We're at 725 starting cash, that's very, very good. And we get a wish orb. Oh, we get another green one. We'll be getting lucky with that today, but it's something I already have. I have two of these, these are balloons hit by attacks, move 20% slower for 10 seconds. I don't think I need a third one. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna exchange this for 25 shards because we still have a lot more to earn up in that way. A lot more shards to get if we wanna get a legendary orb, which I really do. So let's move on to the next level, which is Underwater Trench. Cool. So uh, some characters upgrades can only be bought under certain conditions. We know that's like the most common tip. Oh, this level looks weird. It definitely is weird, but actually could be very easy given the situation. I think we'll start with Dungeon Finn, and I'll keep him over here. I wish I could make him stretch a little bit farther across, but here's fine for now. Okay, so attack those balloons, and we'll do what we can. He should be able to keep everything back for long enough that I should be able to earn up 1100, I would hope. And then from there, we can put Tuxedo Jake in the center of that, that way maybe he could extend his range far enough to reach the other side. Gonna be hard to say, that's for sure. But yeah, we'll basically do the same strategy as last time. It worked out just fine last time, so I don't see why we wanna, wanna do it this time. Maybe we'll get all three characters out before we do too many upgrades. I mean, maybe I'll do Busker, and then I'll just do Hunter Marceline, and then do character upgrades. That way we're all saving money on things as much as physically possible. But it definitely isn't worth doing BMO and uh, Tuxedo Jake because it's just it's a little too much investment before you get a return on normal mode. If we're talking like hard mode, I would definitely do like Jake or Finn BMO combo, then work our way up, get Tuxedo Jake, get uh, an easier Busker, get an easier uh, Brofist because of that, or maybe, yeah, something like that. We won't even need to do Finn and Jake, we just do Finn and Tuxedo Jake, and that'll be the Brofist combo. Like, so many awesome stuff like that. So I can't wait to try that out, but for now, let's not worry about it, because we gotta get worry about getting through this. This feels like more of a SpongeBob area than it does an Adventure Time area, it's weird. I wonder if they would ever make a balloon SpongeBob, or SpongeBob uh, TD. That'd be pretty interesting. It'd probably be basically the same, you know, in the way that you could just have different towers. Like, the game would be structured the same way, just with SpongeBob characters. I feel like that'd work out just fine. Instead of Finn and Jake, you get SpongeBob and Patrick. You know, instead of Tuxedo Jake, it's like Mr. Krabs. He makes all the money. I bet you you could do that, no problem. There's so many characters in that show. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this right here. If I set you up just right, I could even get you over there. So that's probably where I should have put uh, this version of Finn, because I don't think he's gonna be able to reach. I don't think there's really anything that extends his range too much, so I probably should have put him on the left side. Uh, but I didn't, it's fine. I think everything will turn out okay. So, we have $400 already, let's get the busker. 
and just start making some money. And then once we're at 950, we get Hunter Marceline and everything is good. Then maybe I'll put her on the left over there. That might be good. That way she has some early coverage of everything and she'll definitely be able to apply the bombs a bit better from over there, so. Sounds like a great idea to me. Oh, some got bias there. It's fine, it was only three health, so we, we should be able to make it out. So we need 100 more dollars, we're getting there fast. Uh, grab that, and Hunter Marceline. So as you can see, we can bring her out about that far, and that's really all I want is like as far as I need to. So let's try that. Oh wow, she's destroying those. So the greens really aren't too bad. Whatever weapon she has, it's really good. So from here, I could upgrade her, but I think we'll, we'll focus on Jake for a little bit. We'll just do everything we need to do for that. Even though it doesn't, I mean, I guess we don't really need it because you know last time they were able to pop the camo somehow. I just need to find out why or how she pops camos. Maybe it's just the soul sucking. That might be what it is. So let's just try to get the soul sucking maxed out because before she was able to like get rid of one camo, but I guess she's doing multiple and they're reducing their camo or something. Or maybe she just, maybe her weapon makes it so she doesn't have to worry about camo. I can't remember. We'll have to find out. I need this. There we go. Right. More I like how the mass soul sucking is actually a little less expensive. I think that makes it a lot easier to work with. She's a fun character. At first I was a little mad on her, but now that I've actually used her a bit more, she is super effective. Like she catches up in balloon popping really fast, especially with his legendary uh, dart she's throwing. So I like that a lot. I wonder how normal Marceline compares, if she's any better or any worse. If you know, feel free to let me know. But of course, next episode, the goal is to unlock normal Marceline. So we'll try that out and see how things go. But um, yeah, let's just do advanced training. I really wanna be able to get that third upgrade, but is, you know, May steak even all that much better? What if it's worse? That's sort of worrying, you know? Like then it wouldn't be worth it. Cause like everything Let's here just seems to be this. so effective. She had a 1200, you know, Finn hasn't really popped a single balloon since she's been at it, you know? So that's super good. Then I wanna try some of her other stuff. I wanna try her blood rush. But we can't do this cause needs level three, which is unlocks the straight flight path, which would be amazing, I think, for this specific area. I would just like to be able to, you know, set up guide points, you know, just, you know, patrol from this point to this point, like uh, the helicopters can do. Unfortunately, she can't really do that, which I think is a huge letdown. So maybe there's something normal Marceline can do. Maybe she has more control over her flight. We'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, let's keep moving. I think we'll upgrade uh, Dungeon Finn now, because it seems to be pretty easy to do. I like it. Okay, so 186. Oh, let's grab these two. And boom. Okay, this isn't so bad so far. I think we got it. We could probably just like let it happen now. Okay, so there you go. She, she It's definitely the soul sucking that's happening there that's getting rid of the camo. So it doesn't really matter what kind of balloon it is, she can do that, which is really crazy when you think about it. So she, in some ways, does have some camo product, or protection. I don't think she has like a large amount of camo protection, so like if it was just a round of like a million camos, I think we would still need either, you know, a character that can defend against them, or more importantly, you know, Tuxedo Jake's or Tuxedo Finn's. No, it was Tuxedo Jake, dang it. He, uh, his ability. So, I mean, either of those is really easy to get to, so I'm not really too worried. And there we go, not bad. That's turning out really well. And once again, she was having a hard time with those leads until she took the lead soul, and then she was able to just deal with it then. So that is super amazing what she can end up doing. So she already has 2,600 balloons pop. He, like I don't think, I really don't think Dungeon Finn has popped a single balloon since she's been really getting started. She's gonna finish this round by herself. So she actually really is a good tower. You just gotta get her going first. All right, so level complete. Is that all four of them, or is that three of them? I can't remember. Uh, but with this one, underwater trench. Very cool. We got the coins, we got the gems. Oh, we got a red. That's very good. I wish I could double this one. If I have the opportunity to, I'm willing to take it. No, okay. So that should be two tomatoes. And then also, 
I do have two Cosmic Essence, but I know I'm gonna get normal Marceline soon too, so it's hard to really balance that out. All right, well, we get a Wish Orb. First things first, what do we get? Nothing new. So I think that I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, shard this, get 10 more, and discard those. So, let's keep moving. Do I have one more level? Yes, I do have one more level left to tackle. This one is Crystal Cave. Four star, or four skull difficulty. A little bit scary, but before we continue on, let's check this out. Darts, info. This is the silver tip darts. So it just gives plus two damage and plus two peers and then regen and zombie balloons. That's right, the regen and zombie balloons, which is very particular. I don't even think any of the levels we've tackled today have had regen or zombie. I mean, regen, I don't know if that's the same as heart balloons, but these right here, if you see, um, for a hard difficulty, more combo balloons, some balloons have shields. So she can't do anything about shields, but there are zombie balloons that she'll be good against. So there are certain levels, like the one where we unlocked, I think, Warrior PB, that she could be really, really good with. Hey, look, it's an octopus. Can we do anything about him? What does he do? Weird. Let me wait for the arrows to go by again, because I think, this is definitely a tough map. Oh my gosh, I get it now. So it looks like there are several different ways, the four different ways the balloons can come in, but then they all loop around that main circle. So that's sort of my big protection point is the main circle. So where do I wanna go? Probably on the left or the right, whatever one sort of works. I think that I need to go for a spread here. I don't wanna go for this like, oh, one balloon, one tower that's gonna defend everything. This is not really gonna work. So like I start with 725, I could do like a Finn and Jake kind of thing, like Finn here and then Jake there. So let's try that out. Yeah, I don't know either. Might have to increase his range. What is he doing? What is he doing? I don't know, he's just spinning. What does that do though? I don't know. So right now Finn or, or yeah, Jake can't even reach those, which is sort of a bit of an oversight by me. Finn just sort of swinging to the music right now. That's a little scary, because right now he's just not really doing much. Hmm. But it should be relatively okay. I mean, right now Finn can really handle it, which is good. Maybe we could just save up 1100. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should sell Jake then and just put him somewhere better or just get somebody different in general. Wait, you can't reach those now? Why not? Okay, yeah, just put you here, get to work. We took some damage, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, like, why can't you reach them anymore? What's with that? You were seriously reaching them just a moment ago. Uh, so just give you limber limbs, that'll help. Okay, that should make things a little bit better. And these two, these two should be able to work it out well enough. And then definitely Marceline could be very helpful in this level, depending on the situation. So I definitely wanna try to save up for her. I might not be able to get Tuxedo Jake reasonably. I mean, I'll try for it. If we save up 1100 now, get Tuxedo Jake, maybe even work that into a Brofist, but that would be a little bit too long. Like, it would just take too long. I mean, we'll just do Tuxedo Jake and then just get uh, Marceline set up. That might be good. Or maybe just, I have, maybe just Marceline. I'm a little bit on the fence with it, because this is just such a tough map. Lots of different restrictions. But I think we got something good going on now. Okay, so um, yeah, seven hundred dollars already. So next round we should definitely be able to get Hunter Marceline by the oh uh, this round really, um, just by the end of it. And hopefully the stuff that one fin doesn't reach, the other one will. So that's great. So I think I will put this maybe over here, and then just make it upwards. I mean that seems pretty effective to me because now she's like reaching everything. I think that'll be fine. I think we'll be a-okay. If she's already like popping everything, like we don't even see too many balloons come out. If she just sort of auto hits everything. Let's do this. So we're looking for $1,200 now, and then 800 after that. So 2,000 in total, not too bad. This is where Tuxedo, Tuxedo Jake would be good, but not entirely necessary, because you know, he'd just make that a little bit more affordable. But we'd have to spend money to make money, and that'd be the hard part there. So, not gonna worry about it for now. We're almost halfway through the easy mode anyways. So, I think that Hunter Marceline can deal with everything along the way, and then when it gets actually close enough to be dealt with by the boys, the boys will deal with them. 
Okay, so let's get that, and then, oh, it's a $1,000. Wow, that's a lot cheaper with Tuxedo Jig, like significantly. If it's at like 850, I think, then that's like 15% off on the, the upgrade. That's really crazy. Tuxedo Jig really makes things economically worth it. I mean, not enough to merit buying him right now and getting the, uh, the hats, the hats of money because it's just a little too late for that, but you can tell how it can be really effective for the harder game modes, like really, really effective. I'm definitely excited to go back to some older levels and try to complete those on a harder difficulty now that we do have some more viable characters. That would be a lot of fun, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and do this, $1,000. More powers. More powers. And then we'll do Blood Rush to make her fly quicker. That seems to be pretty effective, just get her around and near the enemies in any way possible. And now we just gotta focus Hunter Training, just make her primary weapon as powerful as possible. Cause she is like, you know, far and beyond caught up to Finn and Dungeon Finn when it comes to balloon popping. Caught up to them, passed them, left them in her dust. She's a really good tower. I mean, I feel like Dungeon Finn is just as good of a tower, but of course being a ground tower has his limitations that Marceline does not. So they're both really well worth using. So definitely, I think that if you're gonna get, you know, all the DLC characters, definitely buy the bundle, because I think it saves you $5, and if you bought it individually, might even give you some other extra stuff. But it's hard. worth it, like I have all three characters now we've checked out, I think all three of them have been very effective in their own way. I like it. I think they're definitely gonna help us move along, move forward, and get some awesome stuff done. So we might as well get the garlic bomb, but I think yeah. I might wait if I could do some stuff like Shield Bash and then move with Battle Moon as soon as we can afford it. That would be good. But there really isn't too much more to worry about. I think Marceline has it covered. She's at 2,000 now. No, I pressed the wrong one. Dang it, not what I wanted. That's sort of a shame. But it's only another $200. So here come the camos. And she's not doing anything about them this time. Okay, there she goes. But as soon as she does it to one of them, she like does it to all of them. It's really weird how that works. Don't really get it entirely, but if it works, it works, that's all that really matters. All right, around 27 out of 30, I think we'll be able to do it. Yeah, normal mode has become easier than ever because of these guys. So I guess the idea with this map is that the, the squid in the center is trying to spin, or maybe he's an octopus. Yeah, I guess he's an octopus, or I don't really know. Um, but he is spinning and that makes it so that the current drags all the balloons in from different angles. It's it's odd, that's for sure. Okay, we have a lot of cash right now. We could get the garlic bombs, we get the stronger garlic, but then also let's get skilled, savage, adrenaline, warrior. That is pretty crazy. A lot of upgrades you can get for pretty cheap. That should be enough to win this. As you can see, everything is being finished off pretty quickly. Here comes a bunch of yellows. I didn't even see the camos there, but there we go, achievement unlocked, give me a hug, hero five. Awesome, awesome, so that should give us a pink orb, so that'll be exciting. But there we go, there is another quest done. 25 coins, two gems, an anchor, nice, and a wish orb. And then 130 experience. I wonder how close we're to level 17 then. Wowee. That is really, really nice. Good progress there. I'm excited to see what's in that wish orb. Probably something totally new. Okay, so there's that done. Unfortunately, we did not unlock the new Cassie character, but that's fine, I didn't really need to do that right now. All right, adventure rewards, what do we get? We get some coins, gems, dynamites, three of them, nice. Shards, and then a blue wish orb, and then a power. I don't think blue, I think it goes gray, blue, green, or maybe it goes gray, gray green, blue. So that was actually a better reward than last episode. In some ways, at the least. So what do we get in this? We do get a green. Ooh, that's new. This is Wizard Thief Wand. No special properties except for plus 10% range and then plus 1% per two stars. Might as well take it. Don't have it. Would be good to have more of everything, at least one of each. And we got the blue one. What do we get? Three blues, that's good to see. Nice, and all three of it's new. We got a new weapon, which is the sausage, the, the sausage? Flare? Abraka Daniel's headband which is a trinket, and then the Water Nymph, which is an ally. So for the Sausage Flare weapon, increase effect duration, bubble gum, ice, etc., by 10% plus an additional 1% per star level. That sounds okay. Abrick Daniel's headband uh, trinket, 20% chance that non-Moab class balloons hit will be instantly transformed into a red balloon. Sounds amazing. That's a big chance. 
Um, and then we have Water Nymph. Uh, this nymph takes a break from partying to help the fight against the balloons. She can be upgraded to boost all characters in the same water area. That's only so good if you have a lot of, you know, like water characters, but we really don't. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this one. I think this will be the most effective. Very cool. I would love to get one of these, but I don't think these are worth 75 gems, unfortunately, so we'll leave it. I hope we can give that to Hunter Marcel. I feel like that would be a very effective combo. But we also have this over here, one pink orb. That is a super rare, the second rarest orb. We've never earned this one up before, so I'm actually really curious about it. And I think I have to exit to the main menu to open it. Let's find out. Here it is! All right, this is so cool, a super rare wish orb. First time opening one of these, I think. Whoa, -ho -ho! three new stuff. We got the Monkey Apprentice, we have the Ice Bull Trinket, and then a Fumigator Weapon. So for the Monkey Apprentice, the Apprentice is training hard in the magical arts and is ready to use what he's learned against the balloons. He has a variety of magical attacks he can utilize. We also have uh, the Ice Bull, which is an activated ability. Summon a mighty Ice Bull that charges down the track, popping balloons as it goes. That sounds very interesting. I like the idea. And then finally, the Fumigator. Balloons hit, take an additional plus one damage per five seconds for three seconds. Just guaranteed all of them. And then also plus 20% range. Oh, that sounds amazing though. I mean, it's a weapon though, not a trinket. That's sort of the thing that makes it a little less effective. I think we're gonna go with the Ice Bull because it sounds amazing. But also, like, I don't know. I wish I could see more of your upgrades. You're 470. You are for like all the monkeys. I don't know, I feel like we have enough Enough allies as it is. Let's try this and see what we can do with then. Or we could try re-rolling, re but I think we should just keep with this and see what ends up going on. 100 each for these, almost worth it, but not quite. Okay, so not bad stuff there. So next episode, we'll be making our way all the way back over to here, where we should be able to work towards unlocking Marceline next episode, right over this way, as you can see. Um, we can play it now, Glob saved the queen. Not gonna be doing that now, but very excited for it. But in the meantime, I think that's about it. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Hunter Zebra so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.